let's do the video. I'll do the S&P, and then we'll go over gold a little bit. You're just looking for stacked areas because this is measuring, guys and gals. What this is measuring, it's measuring all the order flow come in from all the institutional, professional prop firms, hedge funds. This is the footprint of the market. This is your roadmap. And all you got to do is wait till this roadmap stacks over top of each other. You can't find any other better indicator because I got all, every single profile. There's not one profile that I don't have right in front of you. You can't, there's no other profile. I got them all right in front of you. So it works out good. Okay, let's go over this real quick on the S&P. Joe, I'll go over crude. I'll, I'll put it where crude's at real quick. And I want to go over stack levels. Put it right here real quick. Make this a quick video. Put it down so we can see that the, the crude trade that's happening is developing. But if we look on the S&P right here, I've got what you want to do, guys and gals, is you want to look for two times stacked areas. Two times to four times stacked. I got four different market profiles that we look for. Four different market profiles. I got my price, volume, developing, and my long-term value charts right here. All you do is look for when, when, when market profile stacks over top of market profile. So if you look at the S&P right now, we have a trend filter on the black chart right now. Trend filter on the black chart. Let me move this over so you can see crude, guys and gals. It's reacting off the control point. But if you look on the S&P recently, just this last trade, we broke outside a high value area. Let me get this skinny down for you. We broke outside a high value area on the S&P right here. Broke outside a high value. Consequently, at the same time, if you look, we broke outside of my long-term send value. So 2095 and a quarter and 2095. My high value area was over here on my volume profile. Volume profiles, these solid lines, price profiles are dotted on my black chart. My trend filters up, so I want to buy retracements. I don't sell high value in an uptrend. We're more educated than that. We know better than that. We don't sell that in an uptrend. We let it break out high value in an uptrend, let it retest. We look for a long. Look how my SIM value is stacked up. My SIM value, which is my long-term value charts, I got three of them that post during the day. It works on all markets. And it was 92% accurate last week on crude on 17 trades. And here it is again, 20.95 and a quarter. It broke out. It retested to the exact tick. Consequently, at the same time, you're retesting my price profile. The market gels up, right? So these become big inflection points, real big inflection points when, the, when profiles stack over top each other. If I look on crude here, what I say, we had a short today. My system right here called the high. And what I say, I said, hey, if you took this short because we're in a downtrend, my trend filter was down pretty much all morning. So you can sell the high of HVA. You're in a downtrend, sell HVA with negative market delta. Anything over 200 to market delta is big on crude oil. It was negative 394. There's a short to the exact close of this bar. There's a short. But we got down here when it was live and what I tell traders. I told traders when it was right here at this low, coming down to it, I said you can scale out 100% of your position or just keep 25% because we should bounce out of this level right here. How did I know that? How did I know that the market should bounce right out of this level? How did I know that that could bounce right here? What makes me realize that before it happened? What makes me understand that the market could bounce out of there? Because I'm not using moving average crossovers, no lagging indicators, no one uses moving averages that I know that's profitable for support and resistance. So, but how do I know that that is going to bounce, possible bounce, and then for another continuation, possibly taking out the lows? How do I know that? Because if you look right here, I had my low value area, volume profile, right there. Look where it's stacked over top of my price profile. And then I got my LVA profile. I got three times stacked level right here, 55 to 57. I got three times stack. What's my methodology state? If you come within two, maximum three ticks of my market profile stack levels, and you get positive or naked market delta, you can take the trade. Here, came within two ticks of the high, negative market delta. Here, came within two ticks of 57, positive market delta. 
So it lets you understand that trading stack levels is where it's at. That's where you're going to get your most punch in the market. Gerald, go over to gold real quick. I actually said to stay with crude because I want to show crude real quick. I'm sorry. So on, 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 on crude, when you get positive or negative market, now let, let me show you how you can see it scale in different contracts too. Let, let me show you something real quick. When we know we're, we're in for a bounce, even though we've been in a downtrend at 55 here, 55, 57. There's 55, 57. There's that pull-in bar that we talked about, guys, taking out the lows. I just told traders we're looking for a bounce, looking for a negative market delta. Right here it does, or here it was, and now we could possibly take out the lows. Anybody take that trade? Who got on that trade right here? That's what I just educated traders to do. Negative 370. Anybody take that? Jump on. I said look for a bounce up to this area. Look for the first negative market delta, and then we should take out the lows. Why did I say that? Good job, Pat. I said that because we were pretty much in a downtrend the whole time, all morning. We come down to the stacked area. It's not really hard uptrending. It comes up to the control point. The control point, that's how we had a beautiful trade yesterday, day before. Comes up to the two times stacked area. Negative market delta, you got your first tick off. Now you want to scale here. So now crude has been three for three so far. Now I want to show you a technique though. I want to show you a technique. How you can get in these trades is you can use market delta. Let's say you do two contracts. And I know Charles does this in the room. He does very well. Had a thousand dollar. Hey, by the way, thousand dollar live money on two contracts yesterday. Good job, Charles, buddy. What you can do is you can use these pull-in bars over here before market delta even turns on stack levels. If I get two times or more stacked, I can wait for a red reversal bar, go one contract, wait for a red market delta bar, go another contract. It's going to average you in on a better fill. On this bounce, your fill right here would have been 63. You would have got 75 as a high. You would have got 10 ticks out of this move if you would have went on a green reversal bar. What I'm saying is, is that you can use this Winkle bar. I have this in the PDF to show you how to do this also. If you do four contracts, you can use four contracts on a stacked area with market delta or two contracts and two contracts with my reversal bar. The stop is still two ticks above the swing high. Okay? Still two ticks above the swing high. All right, but that's how you can do it, guys and gals. You can actually use market delta to pop you in the trade at this high. It caught the high here. It caught the high here, right? This is the sell we're looking for, but you can use a red reversal bar on key stack levels if you want to do that to reduce even more risk. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I was looking for the bounce right here at 57, 55, 57. I said look for a bounce. Right when this bar closed green, I can go long the contracts. My stop two ticks below the swing low. If it's a stack level, that puts you long at 63, got as high as 76. This last short, I said look for control point, retest short. There's your short. Stop loss two ticks above the swing high. This morning, there's a short up there at that high also. My point is, is that if you do two contracts, you can go one here, one with market delta. One here, one with market delta, only if it's stacked. This is going to give you a little bit better fill, usually two or three ticks better fill, if you want to average the trade in with two entry techniques. That's what a lot of traders are starting to do. If it's a stacked area and you're getting about a three to four tick better fill because of slippage, and then you get in with market delta to average it out. 